Well, joining us up next, we are talking to Vanessa Sainz, who is the Vice President of DHR Behavioral Director, and Joe Rodriguez, who is the CEO of South Texas Behavioral Health Center. Uh, and they are joining us here today to talk a little bit about suicide prevention. I just kind of want to preface this, that again, it is a pretty heavy topic, but again, I think it's important that we do have this kind of conversation uh, with you all to kind of open those lines of communication as well as to bring awareness and education um, because that is always so important to kind of help us move forward and be very preventative as well. So I want to first thank you guys so much for coming in this morning thank and joining us. us. Thank, thank you. For you. Us. Um, so kind of let's start off by telling us a little bit um, about uh, where you guys are starting off as far as creating this kind of bringing this awareness to the Rio Grande Valley. Sure. So, you know, um, I think it's it's definitely an, an important topic um, and and you know it's good to see that the you know community in recent times has definitely embraced the importance of addressing uh, the you know suicide prevention and um, you know there's a lot of mental health you know community affairs that have you know come about um, I know that both DHR health and you know South Texas behavioral have really you know hit boots on the ground with trying to engage with community resources uh, local school districts to mm -hmm. uh, you know promote suicide prevention and awareness mm -hmm. yeah, so we're working very closely also with the Agostar star uh, infant mortality committee mm -hmm. and uh, we work closely with some of the physicians in the hospitals and different organizations uh, child protective services for example and uh, DHR and ourselves at South Texas Behavior we partnered up because we feel that this is a very important topic in the mm -hmm. community we feel that that uh, it is it is necessary to educate the public educate parents mm -hmm. educate school officials and things like that simply because we're seeing where those numbers are growing oh, and uh, we see suicide and you know talking about suicide I mean suicide is the uh, it, every uh, on average every two hours somebody here in the state of Texas is committing suicide oh, my goodness. Oh. and that's uh, this is a lot about what's going on mm -hmm. and uh, and the numbers are very high also when it comes to to adolescents and children and adolescents mm -hmm. 15 and up you know so uh, it, it's critical it's a topic that, that sometimes we don't like to talk about right. it mm -hmm. uh, because of the stigma of mental health but at the same time it's something that we need to be open about most definitely and I, I agree <coughs> with you there that there's a stigma especially with mental health um, I think a lot of people again in most recent years um, I will say that the conversation has uh, been increasing I think people are starting to talk about it more people are starting to to become right. more aware and seek out the help, seek out resources, and mm -hmm. kind of just uh, open up to those that can kind of offer that help to them. So I think it is something that uh, we are, you know, doing better in, but there's always room for improvement. And again, we want to be better with that. Um, and as you did mention, education is key. Um, and I think it is important, especially again, in kind of the Latino community as well, that people are afraid to talk about uh, different things that are going on with them. They're afraid to open up and share yeah. kind of what's going on with them. Um, and I think that that's really great that we are and you all are doing this to kind of help people open up. And so uh, what are some different things or maybe some uh, signs that maybe uh, parents or loved ones can kind of look for in not only just children but perhaps uh, adults as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you definitely, as, as a parent, you know, you want to be aware of any changes in behavior that you notice uh, with your children. Um, if you see that they're, you know, more uh, reserved, if you see that they have, you know, depression, of course, is one of the underlying, uh, you know, uh, symptoms to somebody who, who is considering or thinking about suicide. And so um, knowing what the warning signs are, you know, and, and you know, things like simple things that sometimes we, we take for granted, um, you know, that can be right in front of us, such as, you know, if they're, uh, talking about it, you know, definitely is going to be, you know, one of the more, <coughs> uh, you know, visible, you know, that you might hear them say things like, you know, I wish I wasn't here, I wish I didn't have to deal with this, or, mm -hmm. you know, um, and many times they'll just say, I, I'd rather, you know, be dead, or I want to kill myself, and mm -hmm. so knowing how to approach that, knowing to, you know, embrace your children, and, and really ask these questions, uh, make it a topic in your home, you know, mm -hmm. especially when you do notice these changes, so that they feel, you know, forthcoming with that and, and they're willing to get help you know right. so get help look for the signs um, you know know mm -hmm. the changes in the behaviors if they start giving things away you know that's in, in adults you know mm -hmm. you'll see that they might start you know secluding themselves um, 
and and so it's important to be you know aware of these of these warning signs so you know talk about it get help you know reach out and, and definitely um, you know this topic shouldn't be taboo let's get out there and, and really embrace that so of course. I agree with Vanessa 100 percent you know I think it's important that parents also spend time with their kids and listen to what's going on in, in their lives uh, with all the social media and everything mm -hmm. that is going on nowadays a lot of times our kids are, uh, are not even they're on the phones the whole time right. and uh, I mean you go to our restaurant and you see families together in the restaurant and the table and nobody's talking to each right. other everybody's on their phones mm -hmm. and then kids get I mean you get home and everybody's on their phones and on social media kids go to go to the room and on their phones or on their iPad mm -hmm. and you know the computers and sometimes we just don't know what they're looking at exactly. what are they viewing I mean there's there's sites nowadays that are telling you how to commit suicide mm -hmm. right. and uh, that's a sad part and uh, that's why we always have to be very involved as parents and uh, uh, as friends and neighbors you know, it doesn't matter who you are right. uh, we always have to be very involved in making sure that you know, every every person that is that is that is suicidal uh, and depressed, you're going to see some symptoms. Mm -hmm. You're going to notice some changes on that particular individual. Mm -hmm. He or she are going to be. You're going to notice a where they're 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 not the same like they used to be before. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you see a difference in their appetite, and you see a difference in their attitude. They're irritable. They're anxious. They're restless. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and uh, you'll see some of those signs. And and uh, it's important that that. Right now, what, what we hear is that a lot of people that are suicidal, they talk to friends. Mm -hmm. They talk to friends. They, they don't talk too much to our parents. They don't right. talk to, to professional people like we are, but they, they want to talk more to friends. And I think it's important as friends, do not keep it as a secret. Make mm -hmm. sure that you get that information out. You know, uh, a, another statistic that I wanted to share, I mean, uh, this year alone, um, last year, we, uh, with the Infant, uh, uh, Star County and the Hidalgo County Infant, uh, Infant uh, Fatality Committee, you know, mortality committee. I'm sorry. Uh, there were there were like five or six deaths as a result of suicide. Yeah. That was that was all of last year, but this year alone, there are already six. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing those numbers, and and, and mm -hmm. uh, we we see those numbers uh, unfortunately by individuals hanging themselves, mm -hmm. and these are young individuals, you right. know, and adolescents, and and. Uh, so again, we, we ask uh, for the community to be involved, like we are DHR and, and South Texas Health System, also really involved to, to we have to partner up because it's, it's, it's a growing problem. Yeah, and Definitely. we have to embrace it, you know, mm -hmm. together. It really is coming together, you know, and just to add to what Joe was saying, um, you know, relationships, uh, mm -hmm. you know, part of the review board, uh, we look at, you know, root cause of what, what's happening, what's going on, you know, with these, uh, with our children. And, yeah. and one of the, the, you know, key things is really Relationships. It's a result of relationships. So, uh, another you know key to key you know takeaway to that for parents is you know be uh, aware you know of, of the relationships that your children are in, and, and especially when there's breakups, you know, and, and talk about it. Don't you know let them just kind of oh it's it's normal. Mm -hmm. You know, some things are, are really not normal. So yeah. seek professional help. Know mm -hmm. you know what the differences are and what to look for because that's absolutely key in intervention. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and everyone. Uh, feels and heals differently than everyone else so I think it is important Absolutely. that uh, maybe it, it, your other child you know they went through it this way and then this child it could be totally different so I think you're right it is great to to be involved and to have those conversations uh, with you know loved ones children uh, brothers sisters whomever they may be uh, but, but where or who what are the resources where do people turn to if they've gotten to the point where they themselves you know, think okay I want to reach out for help or I need help or this is where I need to turn to because I don't want to feel like this anymore yeah. where can they go to so there's a, you know a, a lot of community resources and mm -hmm. I think that that's one thing that we're very fortunate to have here in the Rio Grande Valley so uh, you know definitely any of your community hospitals you have DHR health you have South Texas behavioral health system both with psychiatric and patient hospitals mm -hmm. as well as outpatient services uh, you have tropical Texas behavioral health who's mm -hmm. one of our local mental health authorities mm -hmm. uh, border region covers up through the Star County area um, you know, so we can, you can reach out to any of these community centers. A lot of them have drop-ins. You can call, you know, there's the suicide um, hotline that's available. It's a national hotline that they will help you. They, they're, you know, 24 seven, they're always available. Um, you know, you can always call, you know, uh, you can, emergency rooms, you know, emergency rooms are equipped to handle mental health crisis. Mm -hmm. And so if there's, you know, ever a, an emergency and you don't have the number 911, you know, it's, it's, you know, something that you can, you know, always call, um, you know, 
So there's, sure. there's tons of and resources. talking about social media, we're also on the website, you know, yeah, both DHR and, and South Texas Health System also. So, again, it's important that you reach out, and, and uh, you should be able to see on the screen also some of the mm -hmm. phone numbers where yes. they can call the suicide mm -hmm. prevention and the different numbers that they can call. <laughs> we're open 24 hours, mm -hmm. 24 hours, 7 days a week. Somebody's going to answer your call. And the most important thing is to ask for help. Yes. Right. That's definitely. the most important thing is just one life lost is too much. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I want to thank you both so much for coming in this morning and kind of having this conversation conversation with us, the conversation that needs to be had, even though it is a hard one to do. Um, you know, you guys are doing great work, and I think you guys are um, opening that, those lines of communications for everybody here in the Rio Grande Valley. So again, thank you again for coming in this thank morning. You thank, you thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.